What's going on, Dominators? David Dominator here, and today we're here with a recap of the postseason. What's next for hockey? Holy hell, here we go. First of all, what a finals. As a Golden Knights fan, obviously, I am ecstatic. I am happy. I am just so grateful. You don't know the emotions. If you guys watch my stream, I was emotional. Uh, I I was this close to crying. I've only been this close to crying in sports once, and that was when Ben almost uh Ben retired. But I have been a Golden Knights guy since day one. When I heard we were getting a team, I said I don't give a shit if the Penguins win three more cups in the next three years. I am gonna be a Golden Knights fan or a Vegas fan because at that time I had no clue what the team name was gonna be. I have dreamt of that moment so many times. I have played that moment in the video game so many times, especially in this last few years, two years at least. And seeing Stone, seeing Marshall, seeing the OG Misfits, seeing Jack Eichel prove all the haters who say he's never going to win a cup. He's never going to do it. He's never going to be close to being a guy. He's never going to be better than Conor McDavid, and he has something that he doesn't, and that's a finals appearance, and that's a championship. The Golden Knights won the Stanley Cup. This season was awesome. I think out of the last four years of hockey, this was the best one, and maybe even five. I would say the last five years, this has been the best hockey I have seen in a long time. Um, this playoffs was amazing. Came out of nowhere, so many upsets. We all thought it would be Boston in the finals. We all thought Colorado would repeat. We all thought the Rangers going all out would win the cup, but they didn't. Vegas ended up going through the gauntlet. Everyone said Halibut will Hallib they're not first of all they said they missed the playoffs. They're not gonna win the Pacific. They win the Pacific. They're not gonna win be number one in the West. They were number one in the West. They're not gonna go past Halibut. Halibut's the best. He's gonna steal the series for him. They beat Halibut in five games. Skinner and Connor McDavid and Dry Saddle will beat them down. They're not gonna get past him. They beat him. Which, by the way, this is the second time in a row that the team that's beaten Edmonton has won the cup. That's just something I've noticed once we beat them. Um, Dallas, Ottinger's going to be too hot. There's no stopping him. We destroyed him and took him out the game multiple times. The Golden Knights coming into this series, I didn't want to underestimate him because the last time I underestimated a team, it was Montreal, and we all know what happened there. The main story of the Golden Knights is that their defense is tremendous and has definitely been the pinnacle of the league's defense. There's no shape and form. I don't want to start bagging on players because this should be a happy moment for them. Do we think if Brossois goes to a different team that this is it? Do we think Brossois going to a different team would be you would get the same strategy? Not unless they have a top five defense in my opinion. Brossois is good, but he's not, I don't think, with a good defense. Look at what happened to Fleury when Vegas traded him to Cal uh, uh, Chicago. His numbers dropped tremendously. And they went a little high, higher in, in Win or Minnesota, but it hasn't been the best. Vegas defense has always been good. Bruce Cassidy, all of the storylines coming in, the misfits, Jack Eichel, Bruce Cassidy, the story is done. They are all Stanley Cup champions. And now what is next? I could tell you what's next. The Golden Knights winning this is not going to stop them. They're going to bring back this team and see if they could run it back, which they can do. With the added cap that they have, more likely than not, Brossois, or, um, they're going to let Quick and Brossois walk as the goalies. They're going to re-sign Hill. Probably sign Barbashev and Howden again and try to bring this team back. Bro, Leonard is probably not coming back for another year, and he might sit out for the rest of his career. Now, what's crazy enough to think about in this situation is how many guys that came out for Vegas. It was tremendous to see the guys who helped Vegas get to this point. Seeing Quick out there was amazing, obviously. 
And that's something I want to say, but Thompson coming out and Brossois, they deserve to hold that championship because without both of them, that championship is not in their hands. So I love seeing that. But this is an interesting situation. Guys like Kessel, guys like, uh, definitely guys like Kessel and guys like Quick, is this the end of their careers? Do they call it quits after this year? Now, Quick is a, may- is a more likely. His career just dropped off. This was a bad year for him, but luckily he got on a team and he got an opportunity and he helped this team win to get into the spot they were in. I just feel like it's his time. He might retire after this season. Um, And Phil Kessel, I mean, he went a long time not getting signed in free agency last year. Does that change knowing that people now see have seen him with a good team? Maybe do someone like the Leafs? take an eye on him, maybe somebody else like Pittsburgh bring him back, trying to fulfill a roster spot, guys who need scoring depth or at least that veteran atmosphere like Oilers or somebody like that. We have to see what happens with those guys because they are on the brink of retirement, and, I mean, they can go out as champions, and they quite possibly might. Um, Now, to get away from Vegas real fast, every team that had a great season. No matter if they were at the bottom of the standing as at the grade of the standings, a lot of teams had really good seasons and better seasons that they were pointed out to be. Obviously, when you look at the bottom of the rankings, yeah, those teams would probably like to be in the situation, but they're going to be in a good situation. Connor, McDay- or Connor Bernard is coming soon. The draft is, I think, end of this month or early next month. I forgot, but the draft is coming up. I can't wait to see what the awards are because, honestly, the fact that Bruce Cassidy is not in that listing is ridiculous to me. Uh, Petrangelo not being in the Norris. That's just my Vegas fan ba- uh, fan talking. But at the same time, the guys that are up in that conversation obviously deserve it. Um, Florida, awesome, a tremendous season. Uh, I do want to say something that this, is, this was shocking to me. That when he didn't... Uh, when... I was just so curious on what the hell happened. And when Matthew Kachuk was out for game five, I said Vegas is going to win this because their best player is not playing. He played through game three and four with a broken sternum. That is ridiculous. And uh, Ekblad played through a broken foot and two shoulder dislocations, and an orbital tear? That might be wrong. And he scored a goal tonight. So Florida was battling injuries, and obviously that happens in the postseason. Florida should never... If you're a Florida fan, don't take anything away from losing this series. You guys went on a phenomenal run. I think what happened was that, remember when everyone was saying it's not going to be a long time? That, you know, 11 days off is not a long time. They're going to be fine. Think about how they swept that first round. They only went five games. They went seven, five, and four, right? Vegas did the complete opposite. They had five, six, and six. Like, they were going longer series. So I think that that kind of affected a lot of things. And Vegas, I felt like, went through a lot of physical series as well. Like, especially that Edmonton one. That one was so physical. And then that uh, that Stars one got physical towards, like, the middle. Um, you know, teams are going to be back. Colorado's going to try to take back their chance. Um, I mean, with a lot of their guys, you know, it, the biggest question is money. And Vegas right now is in a good circumstance to keep a lot of their guys. They're going to probably let guys like Bluger and Kessel walk anyways. I really just see three guys that I could think of getting signed on the Vegas Golden Knights. Um, I feel like they would keep Hill. And you can't let him go on the market, especially after this run. And Thompson, obviously, will probably continue to be the starter. He had that injury, but I'm sure that he come, him coming back will, will be big for the Knights next year. And, you know, like I said, this season was awesome. You know, you had the Bruins' phenomenal year. Um, obviously I would have liked to see them make a deeper playoff run. You know, we had a lot of dramatic things happen, you know, with the Penguins not making the playoffs for the first time in like 16 years, I believe. 
Like most of my life, they've been in the postseason. They have not been. They didn't. This is the first time they missed it. You know, a lot of teams jumped up. You know, everyone thought the Senators were going to be that those guys that went up, but no. You know, the Devils made the big jump. I mean, I, they were drafting like third or second, right? This year in this year's draft, and then now they made it to the final or they made it to the Stanley Cup playoffs, and I feel like they can grow from that. Um. Another big thing is goalies. Is the goalie carousel going to be crazy? Because you have a lot of good backup options going to the market. The question will be, who will you get and what starters are going to move? We already know that. I feel like Halibut is going to be a trade deadline guy. And we're going to talk about this in a different video because, like I said, I want to keep bringing more sports into this and maybe even make episodes long of each sports uh league in the long video but thinking of guys like Halibut who they he doesn't want to re-sign his contract with the Jets if next year and they're not in the playoffs I could see the Jets trading him to a contender and that would be huge because whoever lands Halibut will land a key piece on making a run to the finals Soros is you know, a guy that is has question marks as of right now. I think that the Predators are in a decent spot where I think they should keep him, but you never know. You know, we already saw Cal Peterson getting traded to the Philly, and now they're saying that Carter Hart is on the move. Where does Carter Hart go? Especially because I've heard rumors about the Oilers, but do you give up on Skinner already? Are you going to trade Campbell even though you signed him to a large contract? That's going to be a lot of questions coming into the next few months and the few weeks. You know, this off season is not that long. You know, a lot of people compa compare off seasons. Hockey is a really short off season. Think about it. They have the rest of June, July, August. September is when preseason starts. So we don't have we have a very quick turnaround on when this actually starts. That's not including the OTAs and the practices, the rookie camps that they have, like. Things are going to be quick, <laughs> very, very quick. So this season is going to be one to remember, obviously, for me, you know, for somebody who watches every single game, um, especially every single Golden Knights game, it's it's honestly so awesome to see them win the Cup. And I know fans are mad, and I made a video about everything that they've heard, and, you know, you guys should check that out. But, you know, Vegas is champs, and... You know, they're probably not going to stop going for it. You know, and when you look at a lot of their guys that are older, you know, like Martinez is, I think, has like one year left on his deal, which is next year. I mean, he's a guy who probably will retire um, more likely. You know, it's going to be Vegas is going to have to quickly, now that they've won, is make sure that they have the development pieces to take over because once Petro's contract's done, you're going to have, he's more likely done. After that contract too, Riley Smith kind of said that this might be his last contract. So, you know, and being done playing with hockey, and they, you, that means you need to get someone for his spot. And I mean, like we saw good young guys like Cotter, Dorafia, uh, defensemen like Pascal and and uh, Marimetov. Those guys are ready, and they can be the next guys in this lineup. And I will not be shocked if. Vegas tries to extend these guys a little longer, telling them they have their shot in a few years. But And McNabb, too, he's not getting any younger. So the Golden Knights, congratulations on winning. Uh, you know, I remember no one said, everyone said that Vegas wasn't going to win a cup. I had belief that they would do it. A lot of people didn't think Vegas is a sports town. I always thought that it could be and. We're almost all the way away from getting every major uh, sports franchise. And, yeah, you know, the Aces and Knights have won the championships, and that's two, that's two trophies for us. So, <sighs> can't wait to go to the parade. I'm happy for all those players. I can't thank you guys enough for following. You guys have honestly made this uh, an experience of a lifetime. A lot of new subscribers are flowing in. Expand the brand. I want to go more in-depth on hockey, football, and all this other stuff. 
start a weekly thing where we could talk about stuff like this in longer episodes or even just try to make a lot more shorter episodes. So expand the brand. Let's get this hockey and sports community running and dominate the world, Dominators. Once again, congrats to every other team had having a great year. Obviously, the Knights are reigning defending champions as of right now. And enjoy the cup while it lasts because sooner, sooner, and ra- sooner rather than later, you're going to have to raise that banner and start defending your title. So dominate the world, Dominators. David Dominators out. Follow everything below. Peace.